Hi guys, welcome back to the Paxton Creek Garden on another exciting episode after a long time. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to overwinter the patra leaves or elephant ears or taros or orries, whatever you call them. So uh, before that, uh, I like to do a final harvest. Uh, I cut down most of the leaves um, so that way we can use them in various Indian recipes. And... Uh, once I do that, then I pull them out of these containers and 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 uh, bare root them and then store them in water. So let's let's see um, how we do that. So first, I'm gonna like I'm doing. I'm gonna cut any unneeded parts and do a final harvest, and uh, then we'll talk about how to how to pull them out of containers and store them. So here is how my final harvest looks lot of leaves um, and we're gonna make uh, some patra uh, Gujarati dish from uh, from India and uh, it will be delicious So you can see I have heavily cut down uh, pretty much all the leaves and uh, I'm going to start taking them out of these containers. And you want to make sure you cut above that notch where the new leaves will come out of, that way you don't damage that leaf and that's the only thing to make sure of and here is how the uh, plants look after harvesting uh, for final time before winter and before prepping them for overwintering and uh, now I'll, I'll be showing you how I take them out of container And here you can see I have already uh, pulled out one of them from the uh, container and washed the root. And here I'm going to show you uh, how to do it. So first you want to make sure you loosen the soil in the, pot, in the container or pot that you have it. So you can press like I do, I'm doing right now. Um, and uh, you just want to loosen it. Yeah, be careful not to damage your, your plant. And uh, I found that uh, they grow better in a 5 gallon container compared to a uh, uh, 1.5 gallon container. So next year I'll be planting the, all of them in 5 gallon container. And also use uh, like a good potting mix. Um, I found that they, they grow better and uh, they'll produce a lot more tissues from side in a potting mix so that way you can give extra tissues to your friend and family and grow more um, next year from, from those tissues. So now these, uh, I, if I didn't use potting soil in this uh, smaller pots, so the so uh, clay soil is real heavy and it is difficult to separate them, uh, separate the roots outside uh, uh, and I might damage it. So I'm going to put, put that in a, in, a, uh, in a five gallon water bucket and try to separate in water. That way I can save as much root as possible and I don't damage uh, the bulbs. And, uh, also don't damage the plant as whole so um, add good amount of water and be gentle and and start pulling the soil um, leave it for five minutes if you can although I was in rush here so I didn't and I just try to um, but if you leave it in the water for five minutes or so clay soil will just loosen up automatically I think so um, I recommend doing that before you start to pull but be gentle and, and you won't damage your system uh, and make sure you don't. <laughs> so here is how I did it.
and here is the best uh, cleaning that I can get uh, while in the bucket with the, that water and now I'm gonna just wash the roots and make sure that all the potting mix is gone from the root system and they are clean as much as possible that way you don't bring any insects or my uh, you know micro insects whatever um, are living within the, that uh, potting mix or um, the soil that you are growing this uh, 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 herbs in and uh, that's that's pretty important otherwise you will end up bringing bugs and that is why I'm not just putting these pots or containers in my home I'm taking um, them out and putting them into water carefully washing the roots um, they are ready to be stored and so that's it uh, now next we'll put them in the water I'll have some more to prep so uh, enjoy that part and then out back And uh, again, I live here in Pennsylvania Zone 6B. So um, I do this every year around uh, the first week of October or the last week of September um, because weather gets cold and I don't want to lose any of my bulb. But if you are living in a, in a warmer climate or 
uh, colder climate please adjust your time frame accordingly and they don't like cold at all so you want to make sure you bring them in time um, and uh, to take care of it so here here are the bulbs i have already prepped two containers with water so after you wash the root carefully you know you just uh, i'm just repurposing these yogurt containers and i'm gonna put them in 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 in, in there so I'm gonna cut off any extra root system that I have. I'm just gonna leave about four to five inches of root below the bulb and uh, just wash it if I need to again and then fill up this gallon um, of yogurt container with water and put the plant um, in it. And that's about it. And uh, again, I do this every year around October uh, first week in Pennsylvania zone 6b and uh, they will stay indoors for about eight months they will get out again in May <laughs> so uh, seven to eight months they stay under grow light uh, while staying barely alive and uh, um, that's what you want to do is survive them for next year a um, lot of time pe people um, pull out the bulbs and they let them dry and store them dry but then sometimes they lose a lot of bulbs that way. But here we are just keeping them alive whilst, you know, in a semi-dormant kind of condition under a grow light. Um, so here is my grow light setup and I brought the plants after um, washing the roots and putting them in a gallon container. And as you can see, I got a good healthy root system down there. And uh, they don't need so much light. You want to be careful not to give them too much light. Um, they just need uh, some amount of light. You can use uh, like a LED strip that has a daylight type setting and um, not too bright again um, they, uh, because early leaves like to grow in a shadow. Um, um, generally they are planted under a shadow of a big tree or something. So they don't, they don't want too much light. Um, and uh, you also want to make sure you change the water every week. Um, that way you don't grow any uh, any of these uh, green stuff that grows inside the water and uh, that is it so uh, that's how I store it <laughs> for the next seven months so I hope you liked the, this video after a long time um, if you did like it please uh, like share and subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next uh, episode thank you and have a nice day